Okay, so here we are, ready for a new session. Uh, so as I told you, we need the, the elastic and you might want to have a couple of blocks close to you. Um, you might not need them, but the, the practice today is going to be focusing a lot on strengthening the back. I think everybody's starting to go with higher and higher shoulders because we're finishing before the summer and we always have so much to do. So it's nice to focus on strengthening, but then we'll do some yoga poses to stretch. Uh, and that's when maybe you will need the, the blocks. So we'll start sitting. So find a comfortable seated position. If you want to sit on a chair or on a cushion, feel free to do so. So the important is that you feel comfortable. So allow your sitting bones to sink down and lengthen your spine, roll your shoulders up and back and down, have your hands on your thighs. And if it's okay with you, you can close your eyes. And as usual, we spend a little bit of time just arriving. So bring your attention to your lower body. If you're sitting on the mat, feel your legs in contact with your mat, your sitting bones sinking down, your spine becoming a little bit lighter and a little bit longer, your shoulders relaxed, your face relaxed, your hands relaxed on your thighs. Take a little bit of time to notice how you're feeling right now. Try not to overthink it, just notice. Just to create the space and time just to be whatever, however you are right now. And then move your attention towards your breath. And as usual, just allow your breath to be natural. Where do you notice that you're breathing? And then on your next exhale, allow yourself to exhale completely. And take a deep inhale through your nose. And as if you were whispering out your breath, breathe out through your mouth. And again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And again, inhale through your nose, allow your sitting bones to sink down and your spine to be long and exhale through your mouth and relax your whole body. And two more like this here, deep inhale and long full exhale. So don't be in a hurry to inhale again. So really exhale completely without straining you. And again, last one, inhale. And full exhale through your mouth. And close your mouth on your next exhale. So inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose again. One more like this here before we start warming up. Inhale. And exhale. And try to keep this rhythm of the breath throughout the practice. So inhale, take your chin up towards the ceiling and exhale down towards your chest. Be careful if you have a stiff uh, neck, you might notice that the range of motion is not the one that you're used to and try to respect that, so don't push it. Now, when you exhale and you bring your chin forward, try to Focus a bit on lengthening your spine and then bringing the chin, chin, the chin down towards your chest. You might feel then that the stretch uh, feels a little bit further down towards your upper back. If you don't feel it, don't work. Last one, exhale. And bring your chin back to center. Full exhale.
and tilt the head from side to side. So inhale to the left and exhale to the right. So try to focus on relaxing your face, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your shoulders and direct your breath to your neck, especially on your exhale. And do two more on each side. And use your exhale. And come back to center. <coughs> Sorry. If you're sitting on a pillow, take the pillow away. And bring your hands to the front of your knees. And on your inhale, bring your chest forward and a bit to the side. And on your exhale, round your spine and come all the way around. And again, inhale, bring your chest forward and torso to the side, round your back, exhale, and come all the way around. And do three more. So move the, do the, the circles as big or as, as small as you feel it's comfortable. And try to bring your attention to your lower back, to your belly, to your hips. And last one. And exhale, finish your exhale and reverse the movement. Inhale and exhale. So open your chest in your in inhale and round a bit your back and then exhale. So move also a bit your upper, upper back. And again, try to relax your face and your shoulders. Last one, inhale and exhale. And back to center. Okay, lie, lie down on your back. Make, make sure that you have space behind your head. We're gonna do movements that we do almost every week, I think, but they, they are so good for the back and the belly. So begin by making sure that you ground your whole back on the mat. So move a little bit your shoulders to make sure that you relax your shoulders, allow your shoulder blades to be in contact with the mat and then bring your legs up, toes relaxed and bring your hands up. Arms and legs are extended, but if you need to bend a bit your knees, that's okay. So it might be that you're tight on your hamstrings and that's okay. And we'll spend a little bit of time here just to ground the back. So feel how, if you bring your chin a little bit in towards your chest, you feel a bit of a stretch on the muscles along your spine. And really allow your whole back to be in contact with the mat. Take two more full breaths here. So I found out that this is a very relaxing pose when I've been going around like crazy the whole day. And especially if I've been sitting a lot, writing on the computer or cooking or like doing stuff that require me to look down. So it's a, I find it a kind of way to reset the back. Finish your last exhale here. And you know what it's coming. And your next inhale, allow your right leg to come down extended and your left arm above your head. And exhale, bring leg and arm up and change sides. So left leg, right arm, exhale up. So keep uh, your whole back in contact with the mat. So if when you bring your leg down, you start lifting your upper back, you need to bring your leg a little bit up. So you might not be able to bring your leg all the way down close to the floor and that's okay. Remember, deep breaths, so inhale, bring your leg and arm down towards the floor and exhale, bring them up. And again, right leg and left arm, if you're moving at my tempo, if not, don't worry, move at your own tempo. And left leg, right arm. 
to think also that you become long, long, long from the tip of your hand, uh, fingers to the tip of your toes when you bring your leg and arm down. Left leg, right arm. Exhale. We do one more on each side, right arm, no, right leg, <laughs> left arm. And exhale, last one. Again, try to relax your face. And exhale back to center. Take a deep breath here. So now we do both legs and both arms. So inhale, bring your legs down and your arms above your head. Again, become long, 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 long. And exhale, squeeze your belly muscles and bring legs and arms up. And again, inhale down. Exhale up. Slow movements. Try not to gather momentum because then you use your muscles less. And exhale up. And we do two more. Exhale. And last one. And exhale. Bring your legs down, bring your arms down. Extend your legs, arms alongside your torso. Bring your right knee up. And on your next inhale, start making circles with your knee. If you want to have your leg extended, you can. The movement is slightly different and a bit more challenging. So it depends a bit where you want to focus, if it's just moving the hip joint or if you want to challenge your core muscles a bit. One more in this direction. Finish your exhale and reverse the movement. So try to keep the rest of your body steady. See if you manage again to relax your shoulders and your face. And we do two more. And last one. And relax. And your right leg on the floor. Then your left knee, bring your left knee up. And when you're ready, start making circles with your left knee. Deep breaths. So we're all very often in a hurry to finish our exhale and start our inhale. Try to focus on that today during your practice. Really allow yourself to exhale. There's no hurry, but find the right balance not to strain yourself on the exhale. Last one in this direction, finish your exhale and reverse the movement. Again, if you catch yourself pressing your teeth together, relax your jaw. The last one. And relax. Good. Bend your knees and bring your feet to the mat feet and knees together. Uh, interlace your fingers behind your head and allow your elbows to drop towards the mat so you open your chest. And on your next inhale, allow your legs to drop, your knees to drop towards the right. And on your exhale, change sides to the left. So see if you manage to hold your upper back steady while you're moving your knees from side to side and see if you manage to keep knees and uh, feet together. So you don't need to go very far down on the floor. Inhale to the right and exhale to the left. This is very nice for stretching the back but also a very subtle uh, strengthening exercise for the core muscles. And one more to the right and to the left. And come back to center. Open your arms in cactus. Open your stance as wide as the mat. And we'll do windshield wipers. So inhale, drop your knees to the right. 
very similar mo movement. And exhale to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. And we do three more. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Back to center. Last one here, very similar, a bit more challenging. So extend your arms to the side, palms facing down. Again, glue your low upper back to the mat. Bring your knees up towards your chest, feet and knees together. Inhale here on the center. And when you exhale, bring your knees down towards the mat and a little bit towards your uh, right elbow. And inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Move at your own pace, preferably your own slowest pace possible. And remember when you bring your knees down towards the side, you bring them a little bit upward towards your elbow. Of course, they don't touch the elbow, but just so you don't start dropping them towards the back of your mat. Soft movements, controlled movements. And remember, allow yourself to exhale completely. You inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. One more each side. So towards the right. And last one towards the left. And inhale back to center. Hug your shins. Inhale, open your chest and exhale, round your back and bring your forehead closer towards your knees. Stop. And inhale, back to start, bring your head and shoulders down. And exhale again, round your back, knees towards your head or forehead. Pause. And last one, inhale, come down. And exhale, make a little ball of yourself, lift your head and shoulders. And exhale down. Bring your feet down again, knees bent. Last movement here, again, quite used in my classes. So a uh, dynamic bridge. So have your heels close to your bum, feet hip width apart arms alongside your torso and on your next inhale lift your hips up and your arms above your head and on your exhale slowly bring your arms and hips down back to start and again inhale up lower belly slightly tucked in and exhale down so try to focus your attention on your upper back as you move up and as you move down Feel how this works as a little massage to the back. If it's, if it's training, if it's painful, you can leave your arms alongside your torso. So you can do the movement lifting only the hips up and bringing them down without the movement of the arms. And again, try to relax your jaw. And we do five more. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Press your heels on your mat. When you lift your hips up, squeeze your bum. And exhale, come down. Three more. Two more. And last one. 
and relax. Allow your hold back to sink down towards the mouth. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. And roll towards one side and come to hands and knees. The last soft movements before we do our strengthening part. Have your fingers spread wide apart from each other and your knees under your hips. So we'll do a bit of uh, movement here before we start with the elastic. So cat cow as usual. So stick your bum out and your tailbone a little bit up. Press your hands to the mat and open your chest. Look up. And on your exhale, round your back and bring your chin towards your chest. Squeeze your belly a little bit. Inhale, relax your belly, look up. And exhale, round your back again. We do three more, inhale. And exhale. Two more. Exhale, last one, and exhale. Just to uh, loosen up a little bit the uh, shoulders, come back to start, and we make circles with the shoulder blades. So on your inhale, allow your chest to drop on your uh, shoulders to come higher up and bring your chest forward. Push your hands to the mat and bring your chest up and back again. So try not to overthink it, but imagine that you're making circles with your shoulders. Try to relax your head. So follow your breath, deep inhale and full exhale. And we do two more in this direction. You can bend your elbows a little bit if that makes the movement a bit easier. One more. And finish your exhale and reverse the movement. And the opposite direction is a little bit more challenging for some of us. That's okay. Do three more. Two more. The last one. And relax. So grab your elastic. So I, um, I have gotten myself one of the long ones because you can do other exercises with the long ones. But if you don't have the long one and you only have a loop, that's okay. But take the, the lightest loop. Um, actually, for this one, it's better that you have the long one. But if you have the loop, take rather um, uh, a belt. So you want to have it open. Yeah. So we, we've done this before. It's just warming up a bit still the, the, the shoulders. Hold your loop a bit wider. No, your loop, sorry, your elastic a bit wider than the shoulders. You can bend your elbows a little bit. And on your inhale, you just bring your arms above your head. And on your exhale, back to start in front of your chest. So think that the movement comes from the shoulders and not from the arms. So really focus on lifting up using the shoulders and down. If you use the hands, then it becomes very mechanic. So you breathe in on the way up and breathe out on the way down. Now, if you're a little bit uh, stiff, it might happen that you bring your head forward when you lift your arms, so bring them up to the level where you don't move your head forward. So it might be not all the way up and that's okay. So be mindful of not doing this because you're gonna strain your neck muscles. Low movements, control movements, inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. And we do five more, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Last one, and exhale. 
plan. Inhale, bring your arms up again. Exhale, relax your shoulders. And now inhale, bring your arms towards the right. And exhale towards the left. And again, feel how the movement starts on your shoulders and your shoulder blades are the muscles over your shoulder blades and not from the hands pulling from side to side. Try to think a bit also about having your back straight, but not strain it. Sit tall in your sitting bones. And if you prefer to stand, you can stand up. I just I like to sit because then I feel that I isolate the movement. I don't need to think about standing steady. I just move my arms, but it might be a bit tiring to sit for long. Do three more on each side. So inhale to your right, exhale to your left, and two more. Exhale, the last one, and exhale. Inhale back to center, and exhale back. Relax a bit if you want to shake it with your arms. <clears throat> so we'll do some exercises for the upper back. So try to focus, okay, it's the muscles in my upper back that are doing the movement. So you're gonna fold your band again. Uh, here you need to experiment a bit. I think it, for me, it's a little bit wider than in, just in front of my shoulders, but not too much. Hold it tight and on your, Inhale here and on your exhale, open your arms to the side and bring it back controlled on the inhale. So again, think that the movement starts on your shoulders. Try to relax your shoulders so don't let your shoulders come up again. So exhale, open, inhale, controlled, close. So it should be a little bit difficult not to let it snap back. And we do five more, five. Try to keep the head steady. Four. Again, think about the upper back when you open the elastic. Three. Try to relax your face. Two. And last one. One. And slowly relax. So bring your arms above your head. And we're gonna pull. So inhale here, exhale, bring your elbows so your forearms are more or less, upper arms are more or less parallel with the floor. Exhale, down. And again here, try to keep your head steady. So don't let your neck drop on your exhale. And again, try to relax your face. I keep bringing my eyebrows all the way up when I pull the elastic down. Exhale down. So think about controlling also the arms on the way up. So don't let it snap back. And we do five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, okay. and back to center, and relax. Okay, so sit on your bum, bring your heels in front of you, you keep your knees a little bit bent, we're gonna roll. So sit all up on your sitting bones, and bring your uh, strap, around the, on the, to the arches of your feet and find a good resistance, the one that is uh, appropriate for you. Sorry, engage a bit your belly muscles, bring your torso slightly back, stick your chest up, inhale here, and on your exhale, bring your elbows back. And again, using your upper back muscles, bring your elbows as far back as you can, that you feel that you're using your back muscles, but you keep your upper body steady. So exhale when you pull. Inhale here and exhale. 
Again, try to relax your jaw. Exhale. So it's important that you keep your elbows as much as possible close to your upper body. And we do five more. Five. Four. Three, two, and then last one, exhale, and relax. I'm gonna do one more of the rowing, so you can just do whatever you want, sing a little song for a couple of seconds, just to relax a bit. If you want to, again, shake a bit or roll. When you're ready, again, grab your strap, find a good persistence, and bring your torso a little bit back, but keep your chest open. And when you're ready, inhale here and exhale, draw back. So really focus on, on your upper back when you bring your elbows back. You can even close your eyes if you want to. Inhale and exhale, keep your neck, Steady. So again, try not to drop your head forward when you pull. Lower belly slightly tucked in. And we do five more. Five. Four. Two, last one, one, and relax, come up to standing, bring your strap with you. <clears throat> so we'll do, I think, hold them good mornings. So you put your strap under the arch of your feet again. Have your feet hip width apart. And again, find a good resistance. We're gonna do the movement that we've done before without the strap, so I'll show you. So again, the movement doesn't come from the hands, but it comes from your back. So bend your knees a bit. And on your inhale, fold forward with your back straight halfway. And on your exhale, come up. So you will feel that you use the back of your legs, your glutes a little bit, and your upper back on the way up. So mm -hmm. If you want to, you can give a little bit more of resistance, but don't pull with your hands. Open your chest, try to relax your neck, so keep your gaze down if you want to, and exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. It's not the biggest of the movements, Again, focus your attention that the movement comes from lifting using your whole back body and not the arms. And we do five more. Five. Bum sticks out on the way down and comes in on the way up. Squeeze your bum. Three. Two, and last one, and relax a bit. We're gonna do one more repetition of this one. So I don't know, here too you can sing a song if you want to. If you have the, the uh, strap that is a loop, it might be a bit more easy to use that one in this movement. I find it a bit difficult to find the right resistance, but it's not a big deal. The most important is that you focus on using your back body on the way up. So again, find the right resistance, open your chest, bend your knees a bit, feet hip width apart. And when you're ready, inhale down. We count to three on the way down and snap up on one. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. 
again, imagine, well, not imagine, think about using your back body to come up and not your hands pulling up. And up. Three, two, one. Up. We do four more. Four. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two. One, when we do one more, because I think I messed up with the counting. And relax. Good. Very simple movements, but very nice movements to kind of wake up the whole back body. Uh, sometimes when we have pain, we think a lot about stretching, and of course that's good, but it's also very good to increase the circulation on the back body by um just doing some uh, strengthening exercises okay so let go of your strap we'll do some yoga poses just to stretch a bit so come to the top of your mat if you want to you can have your blocks close to you hands to your waist bend your knees a little bit open your chest inhale and exhale fall halfway forward and bring your hands to your shins, or if you want to, to the highest level of your mat, of your mat, of your block, sorry. Push your uh, city bone, sitting bones back, shoulders away from your ears, look down towards the mat, try to keep a straight line between your spine, your neck and your head. Press your hands on the blocks or on your shins just to create a little bit more of space in your upper body. Engage a bit your thigh muscles. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, bend your knees a little bit more and allow your torso to relax. So here find the props that you need to be comfortable if you need them. So if it's very challenging to let your torso hang, find a chair and place your elbows on the chair or you can make a little tower with your blocks. Three, allow yourself to relax and let the head hang, relax the shoulders, relax the face and feel how you stretch the whole back body. Two more full breaths here. Bring your weight slightly forward. And on your next inhale, bring your fingertips to the mat and bring your right leg back. Right knee down, low lunge. Inhale, bring your arms above your head. So straight arms, uh, fingertips pointing up, shoulders relaxed. So create space in your whole torso. Feel the stretch on the front of your right thigh, your right hip. Take a couple more deep breaths here. One more full breath. Exhale. Bring your hands down, grab your block and extend your left leg and turn towards the long side of your mat. Put your left foot pointing towards the long side of your mat. So you're on your uh, right knee. Bring your hand to the block. I like to have it on the higher level. Hand on your waist, open your chest, push your hip a little bit forward. And bring your left arm above your head, open your chest, stretch the whole left side of your body. Breathe. If you want to, you can look up, but if that doesn't feel right for your neck, you can look forward or even down. So find the right version of the pose for you. You might want to come to a lower level of your block. You might want to have your hand on the floor, whatever feels comfortable. Two more full breath here.
and slowly walk, bring your block back forward, hands to the mat, bring your left leg back and come into downward dog. So we'll walk the dog, so on your inhale, bring your right heel down, lift your left heel up, and on your exhale, change sides, left heel down, right heel up. Just continue like this. If you want to sway your hips a bit from side to side, you can do that. Just to loosen up a bit the back of your legs. One more. Well, inhale, come to both. Tip of your toes and exhale, drop your heels down. It doesn't matter if they don't touch the mat. And lift your sitting bones up, stretch your whole back. Relax your head. Two more full breaths. And then your next inhale, bring your right leg forward and your left knee down. Now lunge. Inhale, lift your arms above your head again. Straight arms, strong arms, but relax your shoulders. Lengthen, create space in your torso. Breathe. Two more full breaths here. Finish your exhale and bring your arms down, grab your block, extend your right leg, turn your foot to the side of the mat and press the outer edge of your right foot on the mat. Bring your block beside your knee and to your waist, push your, push your hip a little bit forward, so squeeze a bit your bum and when you're ready, bring your right arm above your head. Breathe. One more full breath here. Inhale, come back to center. And bring your butt block forward. Both knees together on the back of your mat. And come into child's pose. So sit on your heels, arms extended in front of you, forehead down. Or if you want to, you can have your forehead on the mat. This time, use a little bit your hands to press the palm of your hands slightly down and forward to create more space on your on the back of your on your back try to relax your uh, jaw again and your forehead close your eyes two more full breaths here And then slowly bring your arms towards the right. So keep your hips steady and just bend like a banana with your arms to the right. Let your head hang. Or if you want to have a block on the forehead, you can have that. One more full breath. Change sides. Your hands to the left. Deep breath. One more full breath. Finish your exhale and back to center. Now have your hands on your fingertips. Press your fingertips on the mat. So you lift the palm of your hands up. You make like arches with your hands. Two more full breaths here.
and slowly come again into all fours. We'll do the thread and needle stretch. So hands under your shoulders and on your inhale, bring your right arm up, open your chest. And on your exhale, bring your right arm under your left arm, slide your um, right elbow and your right ear on the mat and extend your left arm in front of you. Your bum is flying up. Breathe. Again, check if you're not uh, pressing your teeth together. And if you are, try to relax your jaw. Use your exhale here. Now bring your left hand on top of your right palm and press a bit to see if you manage to lengthen your left arm. So you're still on the needle and thread ish position, but you have your hands on top of each other, palm of your hands on top of each other. Two more full breaths here. And bring your left hand in front of your face. And push yourself up to hands and knees again. And now left side. So open to the left, lift your left arm up and under your right arm, left shoulder on the mat, left ear on the mat and extend your right hand in front of you and relax here. Use your breath. All exhales. And as your exhale here, bring your right hand on top of your left palm and see if you manage to lengthen your right arm. Breathe. One more full breath. And gently bring your hand in front of your face again. Push yourself up and sit on the mat. Two more stretches here before we finish. So sit tall up on your sitting bones and extend your left leg to the side. To decide how open you want to have it. Remember, it's not a competition. Toes pointing up, heel pressing a bit down, and bring the right sole of your feet to the inside of your thighs. So find your sitting bones. Be tall, open your chest, breathe in. And on your exhale, bring your hands forward to where, where you feel that, okay, that's my limit. Most probably you start feel, feeling the stretch on the inside of your left thigh. You can have blocks if you want to, if you want to come to your elbows. If you're very flexible, you can come down to the floor. But remember, the floor is not the goal. The goal is that you don't overdo it because you can uh, hurt your sacroiliac joint. This one, that's no fun. Let's just feel the stretch on the inside of the thigh. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your face, relax your neck. And just breathe here. Three more full breaths. And your exhale. And slowly come up and change sides. So extend your right leg, toes pointing up, heel pressing a bit down. And the 
Left sole of your foot to the inside of your thigh. And again, find your sitting bones. And when you're ready, leading with your chest, fold forward. So we try to keep the back straight. Try not to round your back. If I don't have a block, I like to use my elbows to push a bit towards my legs. That reminds me to keep my shoulders away from my ears. And look down towards the floor. <clears throat> to relax your neck. Breathe. If you struggle to come so far down, you can have uh, cushions. So make the pose as comfortable as possible for you. You might even want to have your blocks here. Like we all have the bodies that we have and we have to work with the bodies that we have. So try not to compete with yourself. Two more full breaths. And slowly come up. And very last pose of the night before relaxation. Bring your, the sole of your feet together. We'll do the yin version of the butterfly. So have your heels a bit far away from you so you have a bit of space here. And again, sit tall up on your sitting bones. Breathe in, open your chest. And on your exhale, fold slightly forward with a straight back until you cannot fold anymore. And from there, you can round your back and just let your head hang. So wherever you hang, as far as you go, as little as you go, here too, you can create a bit of a tower for yourself if you want to. You can round your back and just let your head hang. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And allow gravity to do its job together with your breath. Two more full breaths here. And slowly come up. Lie down for a mini Shavasana. What's your shoulder? It's as comfortable as you need to for your back and your yeah, especially your backs. So if you want to have something under your knees or under your legs, do that. You won't stay very long today. Allow your whole back body to relax. Take some deep breaths. Use your exhale to see if you manage to relax your muscles a little bit more. So really, you don't need to use any strength whatsoever to lie down like this here. So notice whatever muscles that you're still holding, let go. And after your next exhale, let go of controlling your breath. Let your breath go to its natural rhythm. So feel the weight of your body and your whole back body. Imagine that for each exhale, you become a little bit heavier. Yet a little bit lighter. Ah, how is that possible? I don't know, experiment with it, with the idea. And try to give yourself a mini mental vacation. So if you notice that you start engaging with your thoughts, 
about whatever is to come or whatever happened during your day, just bring your attention back to your body, back to your breath. And keep doing that. Keep bringing your mind back to the now. Whenever you notice, it's wondering about. Today I was talking with a couple of colleagues and we were sharing how we sometimes torture ourselves with our thoughts. <laughs> so all of us have a little voice in our head that usually repeats the same songs. So one of my colleagues was saying that she catches herself asking, am I doing enough? And whenever she noticed that, she has made herself the antidote mantra and she repeats to herself, I am enough. Not I'm doing enough, but I am enough. And I was saying that my, my torturing uh, thought sometimes is, am I doing the right thing? So then she suggested that my antidote mantra would be, I'm doing my best. So I invite you to notice what, what kind of limiting thought you're having this week and try to make an antidote mantra for yourself. It needs to be short, short and sweet, short and kind towards yourself. For the last time for tonight, check your face. Is your face relaxed? Can you relax a little bit more your jaw and your forehead, your eyes? Take a deep inhale and exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, roll towards one side and stay there for some breaths. Keep your eyes closed if that's okay for you. And slowly push yourself up to sit it. Find a comfortable seated position. You can close your eyes if you want to. We finish as we started. So bring your attention to your body, bring your attention to your breath, keep your spine long and relaxed. Bring your palms together and thumbs to the heart. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And again, inhale. And exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. And namaste.